Welcome Dyson fans to probably one of my shortest Dyson videos, if not the shortest. So let's take this uh, V6 Motorhead Plus, run it on low and high. We're going to check the airflow and suction, and I'm not going to take the filters out because, well, that one filter in there actually creates the seal. So let's do it on low first. <laughs> Now, Max. Okay, that is not bad. Those numbers are pretty good considering the age of the machine. And uh, remember, I found out that on high power, this particular V6, got some wear on it, doesn't last even four minutes. But on low power, it goes 12 minutes. And upper 20 CFMs, that's fairly comparable to a lot of stick vac, the uh, stick vacs these days that have uh, three speeds, and then you put it on medium power. So that's actually pretty good. Just kind of wish the battery life was a bit longer. And now high. All right, go ahead and do low. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, now high. All right, we got a voltage regulator down there. That's wonderful. So we saw pretty much just about the same brush roll RPM, whether we were running on low speed or high speed. So that means Dyson actually put in a voltage regulator here rather than just, you know, connecting directly to the battery and then seeing the brush roll RPM drop as the power usage, you know, goes up. I'm going to run the machine on low because I think probably 90% of the people are going to be running it on low most of the time. It's not as bad as you think. That's not as bad as you think. That's about what my basement is. And remember, this does not have any type of real filtration, certainly not HEPA coming out the exhaust.